this is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're going to compare the popular BB60D and one of our newest products, the SP145. Can you talk a little bit about like the BB60D uh, and the SM200 and how the SP145 kind of bridges that gap? With the BB60D and the SM200, both of them have pre-selectors, but obviously the BB60 stops at 6 gigahertz, the SM200 goes to 20 gigahertz. Um, and the SP145 uses the same LOIF architecture as the SM200, but it doesn't have the pre-selector and it doesn't have the phase noise performance, but it does have the GPS, so you get you know the perfect uh, or almost perfect frequency accuracy. Um, so yeah, the SP145 is kind of it's a lot more like the SM200 than it is the BB60, but it's got the portability of the BB60. Um, and it covers, of course, the frequency coverage is you know, somewhere between the BB60 and the SM200 as well. So, so it, it's really just a, a third choice, you know, depending on what you need. I guess another thing the SP145 offers is it's got the lowest a noise figure of any, any of our analyzers uh, because without the you know the pre-selector always adds you know at least a couple of db of insertion loss and it has to be before any gain can be applied so it always adds directly to your noise figure um, by removing that from the sp145 not only could we make it smaller um, we could also you know provide an even better noise figure uh, can you talk about the architecture design from one to the other? Uh, yeah, so BB60D, the double conversion superhead architecture, you know, with fantastic image rejection. Uh, the SP145 is a low IF architecture, so we, you know, we're basically doing direct conversion, and then we're uh, using one sideband to, you know, reject the image on the on the sideband that we're keeping. And that gives us a really clean 40 megahertz. But the downside is if you know if you're trying to uh, measure signals that are wider than that bandwidth, um, you know there's going to be some leakage, maybe minus 50 dBc or something, of that image into the adjacent band. Uh, the BB60D is super het architecture, and the SP145 is low IF architecture. Uh, can you talk about why that is and what the differences are and who that's important to? The low IF architecture uh, gives you better phase noise uh, because the, the LO is... So the low IF frequency. is the SP145. SP145 and the SM200 are both low IF architectures. And then the BB60, A, C, and D are all the double conversion superhead designs. What are the differences between those two? Um, yeah, the, the big trade-off is, you know, what frequency your image lands on and how much you can reject it. Um, the double conversion superhead, the image frequency is typically more than a gigahertz away, usually, you know, three or four gigahertz away. Uh, whereas on a low IF system, the image is going to be maybe 20 to 200 megahertz away. Um, and the double conversion superhead, you can reject the image to just about any number you want. 70 dB is a typical number that, that people aim for. Uh, whereas with the low IF system, you can only balance the I and Q channels so much, and they only hold still so much, even, even with a giant grid of, of uh, corrections that we can draw from. So we, you know, on the SM200, I think we can typically get, you know, minus 60 dBc uh, in the comms region. SP145, it'll probably be minus 50-ish. Who is that benefit? So the double conversion superhead, the BB60, uh, benefits people who you know, really need to be looking at you know, a big patch of spectrum for any sort of uh, spurious, any spurious content. Um, if you're trying to analyze something that's in-band, the low AF architecture is always going to be better, just because it um, with the double conversion superhead, you know, we use um, soft filters for the IF frequency, which has great roll off, great image rejection, but there's always some ripple in the passband. And, you know, we, 
We have corrections to mitigate that, but no correction is ever perfect. If you have any questions for Justin, please leave them in the comments section below, or if you'd like to know more about the SP145 or the BB60D or SM series, any of our products, please feel free to leave those comments as well. Like, follow, and subscribe for more Signal Hound and RF content.